that the Bible is corrupt. Yeah, he tells you to go to it. He tells you to go to it. He doesn't say it's corrupt. Now, not everything we can say has to be in the Quran. Like, we have our own knowledge. And not like, if something urges now, something happens now, and we mention it, we talk about it, it doesn't mean we can't talk about it because Allah didn't tell us. Allah told us in the revelation. Not everything that is true is in the revelation, but everything that is in the, re in the revelation yeah. is true. Now, going back to that point, saying that... Um, can I respond to that after you? Yeah, because yeah. I want to respond to that because you make your next point yeah, after. Go on, go on. What I'm saying is this, is, is, um, is where we see a contradiction is this, is that because if God genuinely wants the truth for you yeah. and he wants you not to be deceived in any way yeah. okay then he'll give you you know you call it revelation he'll give you he'll, give, he'll point away at the truth yeah. so you, you you don't get confused okay in the quran he points at the injil he points at the torah and he says these are the books that stand by me he doesn't say they've been modified he doesn't say they're corrupted so he tells you to go to them okay now what we have Muslims saying is that no, it's been modified, it's been corrupted. So why would I, it's, 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 it's a, it's a, um, I think it's a reasonable question to ask. Why would Muhammad? Why would God, sorry, Allah, send you to something which has been corrupted? I understand your point now. Something you need to know, as the, as a man said before, things are revealed at different times. Couldn't it be that that revelation was specifically for the Muslims at the time? And at the time, there were Christians who believed in like. When Allah tells us to go to the people of the book, I believe that if the if the Bible was modified, you and I don't know what Christians at the time believed. Okay. We know what we know what Christianity is today. Can I respond to that? Go. So you're speaking about abrogation. Can you show me where those verses have been abrogated? Which verses are exactly? The the, the the verse I just spoke about, where um, I, I can bring it up to you, Surah. Uh, many there's many verses that say go to the Injil, go to Torah, Surah six. 114 to 115. No, I didn't say anything about abrogation, so I'm saying. You're saying that it was for the people at the time? No, no, no. So no, it's been I'm abrogated saying, to something new? No, no, no I'm saying, okay. couldn't it be? I'm saying, couldn't it be? Right, but I'm saying it couldn't be. Verses, I'm saying it couldn't be because what the Quran teaches is something called abrogation. It says that if we gave you something in the past, we brought to you a better, a better verse. That's what it says. That's what the Quran says. So that's why in a, like in a, in a Medina, let me just explain this to you. In, a, in Mecca, yeah. uh, Muhammad was very peaceful. He got with the Meccans, but when he um, was able to have a lot of a, uh, more of a, a following and an army behind him, Allah then revealed a new verse where he was able to go and slay the unbeliever. And so the verse changed from um, from being peaceful, or it changed from. Um, there's a there's a there's a there's a Quran, Quranic verse which speaks about that there is no compulsion under religion. Yeah. That's the, that's how it began, and then it led, went to strive against the unbeliever, kill the unbeliever where you find him, slay him. If you disobey or if you are a hypocrite, or it's like if you disobey Allah, then you are a hypocrite and that you will you know you will not you know essentially you go to the hellfire. Okay. So 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 you see that if you're going to say that these verses were for the people at the time, you didn't have to show us. Where it was abrogated, where it was changed, and Allah didn't actually mean that. All right. Yeah. Another thing, another thing that you need to yeah. uh, take a look at is the actual verse. The actual verse says, "Go to the people of the book." It doesn't say, "Go to the book." Now, the book might have not been changed, or might have, it might have been changed, or might have not been changed. But what Allah says is that, like the Jewish, these people have twisted the truth. They know, they themselves know the truth, but they have changed the scripture in order to misguide others and in order for that to benefit them and their and their worldly purposes. So now, the verse is go to the people of the book. It's not go to the book. Well, no, yeah, it says go to the book and it speaks about, I mean, do, do, you, do I have to bring them up? It goes, it, say, it speaks no, about... Do you understand my point? No, it doesn't just say that. It go says, to the people of the book. The no, people no, there's... The book. Brother, do you, if I was to show you where Allah is affirming the Torah, not the people, he's affirming the Torah and affirming the Injil. Would you accept that? Because I'm not talking, I'm not speaking about just the people. Yes, one of the verses does say that. It does say, go to the people of the book. Now, but there's me, other verses. Okay, show me one verse where it says, go to the book. Or okay, let's, 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 let's try and find that for you. Um, I might have missed it, I wouldn't know. That's fine, that's fine. I can see that you're genuinely asking. Um, 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 why? Um, I'm just going to try and find you as many verses as possible just so that we don't... You can still discuss with me while I do that because it might take... Yeah, 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 go on, yeah, yeah, no, go on, yeah. you, you, yeah, yeah, go on. What else did you want to ask? 
Hey, brother. You okay? <laughs> point also, going back yes. To the point where yes. Go on, go on, go on. We're contradicting Allah by saying the book has been corrupt. I mean, whether I'll give you an example. Imagine that the book was never corrupt until now, until today. Couldn't we go and say that oh, the book has been corrupt? Does that mean we're contradicting Allah? If it's something that just has recently happened, the revelation comes once. It comes with the prophets. It's not. It, it, it's not that we can constantly check what Allah is telling us. It's a revelation that we have to follow, and it's universal, and 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 it's enough for us to live with. Yeah, so I'm just trying to find this. So sorry, sorry. Could you could you repeat that again? I'm yeah, here, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah, go on. Okay. So let's go, I'm going to read several of them for you. Okay. So Surah Free, Ayah Free. He has sent down upon you the book in truth, confirming that was before it, and he revealed the Torah. And the gospel. Let me read you another one. Now, but what does that mean? He revealed, he revealed the, Torah the, and the, the Torah and the gospel. Yes. Now, the Torah and the gospel, what does he mean? The one he revealed. Right. Right? That's, that's exactly. Yes. yes. So it's not the people. He's speaking about Allah has revealed yes. the gospel and the Torah. Okay. So let's keep reading. Um, Surah 10, 94. So if you are in doubt, okay, this is the bit you, you know, we agreed on. Um, about that which we have revealed to you, then ask them who have been reading the scripture before you, the truth has certainly come to you from your Lord, so never be, the truth has come to you from, um, from the, your Lord, so never be among the doubters. Surah 18, Surah, no, Surah 6, 114-115. Say, shall I speak, shall, say O Muhammad, shall I seek a judge other than Allah, while it is he who has sent down unto you the book, the Quran? Explain in detail those unto whom we gave the scripture, the Torah, and the Injil. Yes? Know that it is revealed from your Lord. The Torah and Injil has been revealed from your Lord. So be not you of those who doubt. And he and the word of your Lord has been fulfilled in the truth and in justice. None can change his words. So remember we were speaking about corruption and modifying? He said you cannot change the words of the Quran, the Injil, or the Torah. And he's the all hearer. And all Noah, Surah 5, 147. Sorry, Surah 5, 47. And let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. And whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are defiantly disobedient. If you do the people of the gospel, like me, a Christian or a Jew, does not um, judge by what Allah has revealed, which is the what? The Gospels and the Torah. No, no, no. It, it says here, the Gospel... Yeah, no, no, but you need to understand what that means. Right. They are disobedient. Do you understand what that means? Now, what Allah... So I've read you about seven, about seven no, 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 verses. In none of them you found what you were looking for. Well, no, well, no, no. I've given... Agreed, we, agreed, we agreed on finding... Well, are you listening to verse? No, no, no. We agreed on finding a verse which told you, which ordered us yes? to go and see what the book said, as you said. But what have I just been reading? No, 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 that's going to the people of the book. It never told you to go but to the book. But it doesn't say the, uh, the people of the book. Show me the exact, no, it says go to the people of the book, go to the people of the scriptures. But, but that was a verse that I read about three, um, three verses no, no, ago. No, okay, show me one then. If it's so easy, if they're right in front of me, show me one verse, what Allah is telling you, go to the book. Okay, I'm going to read it very slowly for you. So okay, 6, 114, 115. And, and we'll Shall I seek a judge? Yes. Other than Allah, while it is He yeah. who Allah yeah. who has sent down unto you the book, the Quran, yeah. explained in detail yes. those unto whom we gave the scripture, the Torah. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Allah sending this yeah. down. And the Injil. He's never telling you to go and check the Torah and the Brother, but he's saying that he sent the Torah in the Jew. Now let me explain to you. <laughs> Are you serious about this? Of course I'm very serious about it's this. Saying that, it's saying that, it's saying that, okay, so is Allah saying that, is Allah affirming the Torah and the Jew? Can we agree on that? Right here, yeah, he definitely is. Right, yes. so that's my point. I don't need to make any other point. My point is, he's affirming that he revealed the Torah and the Jew. The problem with you is that once we go to the Torah, when we go to Injil, it contradicts everything that Muhammad said or did. Now, now brother, listen to this. Yes. As he is telling you and directing you, to, he, he, he's mentioning he has revealed a, a Torah and he's revealed it in Jew. Mm. Now, that's a separate point. He's revealed an in Jew and he's revealed a Torah. In another point, he also tells you about the people of the Torah and the in Jew. Now, the people of the Torah and the Injil are different from the Torah and the Injil. He knows that he revealed the Torah and the Injil, which has been changed and been modified. Where does it say that? 
Where does it say that it's been changed and modified? Judging by these verses, judging by these verses, it's telling you, no, 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 it's telling you that the people of these books, the people of these books have modified it. So what do you have to do? You have to go to the people. Go to the people, don't go to the people. Let me tell you a problem you're going to have here. The reason why you're going to have a major problem. Because okay. you're, you're, because you're. Only the people know what they have modified. Okay. So Allah tells you go to the people and check with them okay. because they know what they're doing. Sure, sure. Let me respond to that. Two problems you have here. The first problem you have is that it says here that the Quran is explained in detail. What you're saying is that Allah, with the, the, the perfect God, is unable. Who says he's the, you know, he's the best communicator? Is not able to explain to you, but no. The Torah or the Injil is modified or it's been changed. You, he, he cannot put a clear verse that we can look at and say, well, hold on, no, I'm not going to that book because it's been changed. What you are doing is you are asserting, asserting that it's been changed without giving any evidence that Allah or, or, or Muhammad asserts. You cannot give me through your Quran. You not, cannot, wait, hold on, finish. You cannot give me through the Hadith. You not, cannot give me through the Sirah. And you cannot give me from Tafsir. You can't give me anything that shows that you cannot go to the Injil or the Torah. All right. But what you're doing is saying the clear Quran. verses. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish my point. And you, 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 you. The clear verses that are saying, I am affirming that I reveal the Torah and the Injil. Go to these books. We know when these were revealed. We look into history. If um, atheists, Jews, you don't even atheists don't believe in God. Agnostics, historians, scholars, who. Um, who you know who don't who don't believe in miracles and don't believe in the things that we believe they affirm that these books they've done their, their research and the history and we know that these books were around hundreds of years before muhammad but yet Ma, um muhammad didn't um sorry um you're denying these books allah and muhammad are not brother let me clarify this sure Give him David was a no, no, hold on, hold on. you're desperate brother, let you're me desperate let me, let me clarify this you see how we believe yes. Allah and all these 99 names, yes. he's, he's basically everything to us. Yeah. When Allah relates these books to himself, it has already been clarified to us that at that exact time where he's talking about these books, if he's relating them to themselves, we know that they've come and they've been untouched and it's the truth. When he says, I have revealed them, we know that what he's talking about right now is the absolute truth. When he relates to the but book, how? Show, no, no. give me proof of that. No, no, Don't that, just make no, that up. No, no, no. Well, how do we know it's true? That's clear language. It makes sense. It makes sense. Look, look, look. If Allah glorifies Himself and asks us, mm. and, and He asks us to glorify Him, doesn't it mean if He says He's the He's the perfect one? Doesn't it mean that anything that He relates to Himself is going to be as perfect? If you're perfect, anything you make is perfect. according to your Muslim, or you're not speaking about a Christian, because obviously no, no, we believe no, no, so false. According to Islam. According right. To Islam, right. According to Islam. Right. So, so, so my point is this: no, If no, Allah, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. My so when He relates the the, the books mm. to the people. Mm -hmm. we automatically understand that there could be mistake in it and that there could be there could be modification in it and also in the Quran you do you do find verses where Allah talks about the Jews and how they wrote the book themselves knowing they're twisting the truth brother That's in the Quran. brother show us where it says that the Injil or the Torah or the Bible is is corrupted in the Quran Let's go on it. Go on verses of the Jews. Let's go on it. But you, you, you find it. You Google it. Because yeah, remember, what are you going to show? What, what, what our friend is going to show us? Hold on. What are you going to show us? I'll, 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 uh, let me get Google up for you. You're going to show us. Because remember, my question is specific. Okay. My question is not about what no, no, no. some random. Oh, let, me, let me make my question clear. Yeah? My question is not what some Christian said in Scotland or some Jew said in Indonesia or some Muslim said in some random place. My question is this. Is what does Allah in the Quran states about the Injil, the Torah, and the um, uh, and, and the Bible? Okay, where does it say that the Injil, the Torah, or the Quran? So, Injil, the Torah, or the Bible is corrupted. That's the question. Okay. Um, now, first thing I like to no, say. No, go, go, Google, Google. Allah Google mentions you. the Bible and the Quran because that's a book that's 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 whole that's, that's a whole different. Story Baba, are you gonna find the verse? I'll find you. No, no. And, I'll, and before I find it, I will tell you that what's what Allah says in this verse, He is talking about the Jews. He's talking about the Jews. I'm right asking you. Show truth. us. No, no, I'm letting it know so then you don't tell me. Ah, you you show me something I wasn't talking about. I'm clarifying the verse. I'm gonna find. Okay. It. Will you then? Will you then? Will you then confirm? No, no. Because that's not what I asked you. So you, he's gonna find the verse. I didn't ask him. Okay. My brother, we know the Torah him. is of the Jews, so we know if Allah's talking about the Jews twisting the truth, what is He talking about? Okay. Clearly not the Jews. He's talking about the okay. Torah. All right. Did the Talmud? Did the Talmud come before Muhammad? When did the Talmud come? What? What? 
No, no, because he. he I don't know. I, I, right. I've read the Talmud. I don't know what it is. Right. I, I don't know. You don't know the Talmud. Yeah, okay, know, the Talmud right. came prior to Muhammad. It came in the fourth century. Okay. Who, you, who wrote the Talmud? For the sake of my who, knowledge, like, who wrote, teach me a bit of the Talmud. Who wrote the Talmud? So the Talmud just simply means instructions and teachings. Okay. And so this is what the Jews wrote in regards to um, the what we call the um, what, we, what the Jews would call the Tanakh, which is the Old Testament. Okay. Yeah. And so the Jews um, wrote the Talmud. Now there's a lot of things in Talmud that we don't adhere to. Okay. So yeah, perhaps well, the writer of the Quran may be referring to the Talmud, but it's not clear and explicit. Now Allah is supposed to be a God of Who's, who's accurate, who's clear, who's, um, who comes with great detail, who's a great communicator, but yet he cannot show us where the Torah, the Injil, or the Bible is corrupted. Brother, to Do you me, see the problem you have? No, to me, it is, it, honestly, Brother, I'm being honest, it is very clear to me. It's a problem that you, have, you, you, you I'll find a verse, I'll find a verse. No, no, that shows the Torah, the Injil, or the Bible. All you have to type is, what does, what does Allah say about the Jews? This guy. You find it. Huh? It's easy. All right, so that's what I'm saying to you is that you kind of thrown Allah under the bus. Either he is, um, either he's a bad communicator. He can't make it clear. Why the books so are corrupted. How comes it so clear to so many? Because, people? because I'll be honest so with you. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Let me respond yeah, to that right. question. Because you know we get these questions all the time. For example, we're asked, why is it so clear to Muslims? Why is it that so many um, people are, are 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 converting to Islam? And what the pro what a lot of people believe, okay? Because I'm not going to kind of speak to myself because you, I'm going to try and respect you. But a lot of people do believe that Muslims are deluded to believe that something that um, their book says is not so, they are saying it is so. Something that history is saying is not so, is so. Something that they can't prove, they have no evidence um, that it is true, they say it is not true. And so. We just we we come to the conclusion that you must be deluded to believe this. I think another problem sure. with Christians is when they when, first of all when, when you read the translation in English and, I, and I'm talking about linguistics here. I'm talking about literally when you read the verses of the Quran and you how much time how much time we got? Twelve minutes. Go. When you listen to the verses of the Quran and you hear them and you listen to them, I feel like when you read them, I feel like you oversimplify the whole matter. I feel like it's like look. Allah is saying here that the Quran this and Allah is saying here that the Torah this and it's not. A you've agreed with me that that's what Allah is saying. He's affirming the Torah no, 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 and the Torah. I've broken down to you. I've broken down to you throughout, throughout our discussion. That first of all, there are verses. The first thing I said is that there are verses that are revealed in specific times. The second thing that I said is we could know some things that Allah hasn't confirmed because if something happens just now, I don't need to find uh, any revelation. Uh, I kind of feel that we're going in circles, but round up what okay. you're saying. Finish what you're saying. We're just going to sum right, up. Yeah. We're going to sum up. Fin finish what you have to say. Um, because again, you know, what we have is again, we have, again, what I mentioned earlier, the Islamic dilemma, you know, because if Allah is telling you, go to the Torah, go to the Injil, and he's saying there's scriptures that I've revealed before you, Muhammad, go to this book and he even tells the Jews to go to stand in, the, in their book. The problem is, is that these books contradict everything about Islam. But the thing is, if these books are true, then why is Allah sending you to these books that are corrupt? Brother, you will never find the misfits. You will never find God or G, um, God um, or anywhere in the Bible that tells you go and study something that's false Brother, or that's been modified it, or corrupted. I made it clear the video, yeah. and I think this is the, this is the most important bit yeah, of our sure. discussion that Allah tells you to go to the people of the book. He doesn't tell you to go to the book. I made it clear. All right. And it's I've read. I've read the verses Allah where it speaks about Torah. No, no, okay. no, no. Just round up what you're saying. Round up what you're saying. We round up. We, we, we've gone through that. What's All your, right. What's your I'm saying Allah yes. told you to go to the people. Make your, make your last statement and we'll end the video and then I'll, I'll talk and then we'll finish. Yeah? All right. I'll repeat. For people who... Thanks. For people who... Sorry, I actually couldn't find it. No, it's no. there. It's definitely there. You can go. All you need to do is verses. Allah, Quran, speaking about the Jews and you'll find it. Allah mentioning that the Jews twisted the truth knowing what the truth is. That was, a, that was my question, but go on. That was my question. So, my points are, number one, when Allah relates the scriptures to himself, we already automatically know based on, based on, based on who he is, based on all his attributes, him being perfect and everything, that he is now talking about the, the true Torah and the true Injil, not the one we may have today. Yeah, that that is automatic for us. It is it is really simple to understand. That's the first bit. And well, when he that. relates, and I know, I know. and when he relates the scriptures, I know. When this, he, this is why we very hard by the heart to get. But go on, go. On. I want you to finish your point. When he relates the scriptures to the people, is a different story, as he's already walked us through people twisting these scriptures and doing it for their own for their own worldly purposes. 
Yeah. You know, because it's, it, it's a whole, it's um, it's, a, it's a whole system. Twisting, twisting these scriptures yeah. is literally, it's 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 beneficial for them. Okay, I appreciate your effort. Right. You did try to represent. I didn't. I literally but made my point clear. You, 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 but I'm you've right. got. I'm let right. let me summarize. Let me summarize what I'm saying. Yeah, you can hang around and I'll summarize. So what my 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 friend, my my Muslim friend here is essentially saying, is that um, Allah has revealed in the Quran, um, in the Quran that we should go to the people of the book. Um, that you know, he speaks speaks about going to the um, to the Torah. He speaks about going to the Injil, and he affirms these texts that come prior to Muhammad but yet he's going to then say on the other hand that we're holding on but they were modified they were corrupt say show me a verse that says that he's, 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 you know, he's waffling for a little while and then he's going to show me where the Jews have corrupted some some scriptures and I'm saying which are the scriptures I'm being specific Allah specific Allah saying the Torah Allah saying the Injil Allah is being specific why can you not be specific why is he saying Jews corrupted something out there what is that something what did they corrupt he cannot be clear and this is again where Muslims are always going to shoot themselves in the foot because they will claim one thing and then Allah will claim something different to them. And I'm saying, wait, hold on, why does Allah and yourself have different opinions about the, 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 um, the previous scriptures? And so what I encourage Muslims to do, I'll say, listen, you know, go to the scripture, go to the Bible, go to the, um, to the Gospels and go to what Jesus Christ said. And there you find the truth. Jesus Christ in John 14, 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? And there's no man can come to the Father except through Jesus. Come to the Father through Jesus. God bless. Yes.